Alright, thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. And make sure you ring the bell so you get that notification when I drop a new video. Today, we're back in Power BI. And since it's February, I was playing around with a... Uh, a rose uh, colored scheme here and just having some fun with the colors so I am using uh, Microsoft financial sample data so uh, if I get enough comments down below I'll put the link there um, but you can google Microsoft financial sample uh, workbook and you'll you'll see that data and what I want to show you here um, uh, on this dashboard this capability when I click on this button right here you'll see I've got a slicer panel that pops out. So that gives me a little space here to do what I wanna do, right? I can focus in on a country. Let's go with uh, with France here and you can see everything updated. Um, I can clear the filter and everything goes back to how it was and then I can put this away, right? So it just gives me a little bit more real estate uh, when I'm designing my dashboard. And so shout out to uh, a Guy in a Cube, shout out to Havens Consulting. I kind of mashed up some techniques here and put together uh, my version. So so shout out uh, to those guys. So let me show you how how we do this. Let's let's get into it. So, well, first of all, let's let's take a look at what I've got over here for fields, right? So I've got some calculations, you know, to do my running some year to date and running some year to date last year, all that all that good stuff. Um, I've got a calendar table. And so I've shown you how to do this. I have another video. Uh, go ahead and check out uh, that video here where I build out the calendar table, right? And then we've got the uh, the data from the Microsoft uh, uh, financial sample uh, workbook as well. So, and I've also shown you how to do this, right, in another video. So let's say I'm very interested in what's going on in, uh, in France here because it's my profit leader. I can drill through. Right, we'll drill through, and then it brings me up into my more uh, analysis-centric uh, report here. So, you know, I can see the country is France. I don't have any other filters on. I can get a quick uh, view of the KPIs and segmented by profit and discount band. I got all that detail here. So I can see this line item um, gave me a lot of profits uh, for this product, right, with no discount. So uh, in any event, let's uh, let's build this out. Let's build out this uh, this pop-out slicer panel here. So we'll do a, uh, a more minimized version of the dashboard here, not quite as... Uh, as uh, fancy with the colors or what have you but we just care about the technique so I've got some some space over here to work with so I can show you how to build this out so first thing we're gonna do we want to come to the view um, section here and I want to turn on bookmarks and selection pane right so I can see all of my my objects that are here so if I select on something you know you see it gets uh, gets highlighted a little bit right image so we got that selection pane and then we have bookmarks and we are going to be using them so uh, the first thing that we are going to do here let's create a, um, a pop out filter button so if I go here to home and I pull in button and let's make it a right arrow right and you'll see it puts it right here and I'm going to yeah, it doesn't really matter let's go ahead and just make it huge here right we can we can skinny it up a little bit here I just kind of want it right here in the corner you don't have to make it this big uh, you could make it very small but I just want uh, want something here um, just so to the side so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to um, let's turn the fill on so if I select that and if I come to the fill I'm gonna turn that on and every button has what's called a default state an on hover state and on press state so in the default state right I want to make my uh, my train well first of all on the default state I want to make it a little just a little bit uh, darker give it a hint of of extra color there right and then I want to make this transparency let's let's make this transparency 70 like 75 percent something like that in the default state and so on the uh, let's call it on hover state right I just want this to be white 
and you know this can be 100%. So as we go over here, you'll see in the default state it's gray, but as I hover over, it changes to white. So I just kind of like that little that little change right there. It lets me know when I on hover, uh, when I hover over here, it lets me know I can do something, or that's how I like to indicate I can do something. So we have that, right? So let's start with that, and then let's create a um, a text box. I suppose I could use a shape too, but uh, I'm just going to go with a text box here. And this is going to be where we put our our slicer. So, oops, let's see if I can move this. That'd be great. Um, let's put it from here. Yeah, that's fine. And let's maybe let's skinny it up a little bit. And I'm going to make it go all the way say to about right here not all the way down right so I have that and then I'm gonna copy I'm gonna paste there we go so now I have two so what helps is if I if I name my my boxes here so I'm gonna take this second one and put it on top of the first one so I have that kind of pattern and so we're gonna call this slicer panel right and then the second one we're gonna call this uh, uh, slicer shading something like that if I can spell okay and then on the shading right we're going to uh, well no sorry on the first one let's go ahead and uh, and turn the borders on so if I come over here and look for the border I can turn that on right great and then I'm going to go to the second one right here go to the slicer shading one I'm gonna make the background color if I go over here, background color, let's make that just a little darker, just to give it a little, a little uh, hint of shading here to make it pop, right? And do I like it? Uh, the transparency, we can make it, uh, we can make it a little transparent. That's fine. That works. Okay, so just, a, just a little bit of transparency there. So I have a little bit of. Uh, um, effect there to make it pop right okay so now we can start placing slicers actual slicers in the panel right so let's do one for date so this is fairly simple we're gonna do a slicer and I'm gonna come over here to my calendar table right not not the data in my financials my calendar table I'm gonna drag the date over here put that in there great all right let's size this up a little bit put that I'm gonna put that here again it's not about being perfect I just want you to see how this is uh, built out now I'm gonna put a number of um, of slicers in here so we're gonna do another slicer right and I want this slicer to be my country so if I come over here to financials and select country and I want this to be drop down right great and let's give it a little bit of of depth here and size that up okay so now I'm just gonna rinse and repeat here I'm just gonna copy and paste so I want to make sure that um, the text box here is covered um, from um, from head to toe so to speak because when I select in here it's gonna it's gonna do that so if I make sure that it's covered here I'm gonna do that paste right make sure that there's no space in between here so that here all right so we just built out some slicers just showing you how we do that nothing too fancy now we're gonna put a button here a custom button right I'm gonna hit escape here and let's do this well I could name all of these but I know these are slicers I know these are all the slices so I'm just gonna leave that alone for now and then we're gonna put a button in here so let's go button it's gonna be a blank button right so there it is let's drag it down here and let's expand it out a little bit all right okay and if we go to the text let's turn the text on and in the default state yeah we're gonna leave it uh, like this we'll say um, the button text on and we'll call this uh, clear let's go all caps clear filter right and let's make that color black and let's just pump up the size here all right, so it looks like we got that sizing correct. So I just want to change something real quick. 
this is our uh, clear filter button so let me just go ahead and put that in there clear filter button and then this hidden button right here this is our show slicer button so let's put show slicer here button all right so I just just want to show that here so now what we're going to do is we're going to create some bookmarks we have to create bookmarks then assign them to buttons so this is our show well no first let's go ahead and do this let's create a new button real quick um, this is going to be the reset button let's size this up a little bit here and drag it in we can play with the size in here let's get some full coverage and so when I select this button I want us to go uh, but to hide the slicer so we put that button in here and we can call this the uh, show I'm sorry this is hide hide slicer button all right and so now we need to create some bookmarks, okay? So we want this to be our show slicer state. So I'm going to select all of these items here. And again, uh, our show slicer button is underneath. We are not showing that. See how that, that uh, line is drawn through that, through the icon here? So we've selected all of these uh, items, and this is going to be bookmark one and I want to call this the show slicer so this is like a show slicer state right here or bookmark right so let's go ahead and edit this um, I don't care about the data all I care about is the display because I want them to show up on the current page and just for selected visuals so, so that is the show slicer state and so now I'm gonna unselect or hide all of these or put them in the opposite state and we're gonna show the show slicer button right and we're going to let me select all of these again and I'm going to add a bookmark and this is going to be hide slicer all right and so if we go in here uh, again don't care about the data uh, display current page with selected visuals right so now let's see if this works so show slicer brings our slicer panel up and hide slicer takes it away perfectly so let's do one more bookmark this is going to be the clear filters bookmark so uh, let, me, let me let me get rid of this first so let me just show our slicer first right that makes it easy right so so everything is there and I want to be in this state with nothing selected in my filters right absolutely nothing selected in my filters so now I'm gonna select the slicers here right all of these slicers and now we're going to add a bookmark and this is going to be clear filter right and I love to capitalize that second letter here so clear filter so this is going to be so the difference on this bookmark is we want the data to be affected we don't necessarily care about the display we want that data to be affected uh, current page and just for selected visuals so if I were to go in here let's say I played with the date and uh, Viva Mexico here right and let's see if I cleared the filter it goes away so now all we need to do is apply these two uh, uh, buttons per se, right? So if I, right, if I uh, do this, it's not applied here, so it's not applied here. So let's do that. Uh, let's select on this button right here. Um, turn the action on. This is going to be a bookmark, and we're going to hide slicer, right? So if we do that, boom, that goes away. So on this button, we're going to apply the actions on, not clear filter. This is going to be show slicer. Um, we're going to apply the uh, this bookmark to the uh, to this button right here. That makes the panel pop up. And then last but not least, our clear filter. So we're going to go in here, action on. Guess what? It's a bookmark. And we're going to apply clear filter. And again, just to, to double check here, I'm going to... Play around with that, change the product, and if I clear the filter, boom, it shows up perfect. 
So you've seen how uh, the steps here, you've seen how we've, we put this together, right? We created our, our slicer panel, we created some bookmarks, and then we applied those bookmarks to buttons, kind of three-step process. So uh, let me show you one more, one more thing here that I like. Uh, again, I didn't create this methodology. Um, you know, shout out to, uh, to Havens Consulting uh, on this. I like this opaque button that covers the whole screen. So we're in our, um, our show slicer bookmark uh, mode here. And I'm going to create this, uh, this button. So let's do blank. And I've got a little button here. And it's going to cover up the whole screen here. <laughs> right. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to turn the outline off right and I'm gonna place this after the show slicer panel button so let's call this um, uh, opaque for now right so if I grab this uh, opaque button right here and I place it after the show slicer button right there it shows right my panel is is still there right and then what I can do is I can make the color so if I select this I can make the color uh, white on this so I believe that's in the uh, is that in the outline no not the outline sorry uh, background color white and then I'm gonna make the transparency about 25% so you can see just a little bit just a little tease so you can see kind of kind of what's going on there right and it uh, and so what we have to do now is we have to update our bookmarks to account uh, for this so what I'll do here I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna select this button and I want to apply an action to the button you know we'll apply the uh, bookmark of uh, of hide slicer so if you hold control on this it does uh, it does hide the slicer uh, for now so I'm gonna go back in here and so what we need to do we need to bring we need to update our show slicer so this is the show slicer state I'm gonna select uh, all of these including opaque I'm gonna show slicer and update and then for hide slicer right we need to hide the opaque uh, button here so I'm gonna hide this right and even though we uh, we hit it we need to make sure it's selected right so make sure that is selected and then I want to make sure that we update the hide slicer bookmark so now if I go over here, right, select my button, boom, opaque shows up, I hide it, it goes away. So this has been uh, Anthony Smoke showing you how to create that pop-out slicer. You're going to save some space on your Power BI uh, reports or dashboards as I call them. I know there's a difference in the semantics, but you're going to save some space. So again, going back to uh, a little bit more uh, fancier, uh, nuanced uh, version here, you can see how we save that space. I can, I can just bring these out a little more to, uh, uh, to, to make this pop here. More screen for my, for my analysis and less for filters. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.